And back here at home, anticipation and excitement filled the air as local school children watched the big announcement on television. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy joins us now from St. Rocco School in Johnston with the Northwest Mobile Newsroom with more on the papal transition. The bells are chiming here at St. Rocco's Church. The Pope has been announced. Hours ago, we were in school with students as they learned how the process works. Now we caught it all on film as the Pope was announced. Archbishop of Buenos Aires in Argentina. And he's a Jesuit. It's an exciting day for St. Rocco's students and staff. After days of waiting, a new pope has been chosen. It's an unexpected blessed surprise for this sixth grade class because hours before the big announcement, they were learning about the conclave. It's surprising when you have them in the classroom and they open up and they have a lot of questions. They also have a lot of insight. The pope is going to be like, you'll be controlling the whole church and it's a really important job. After class, the students head next door to Stations of the Cross, and shortly after they get word, white smoke comes out of the Vatican. I was surprised, actually. Surprised. Surprised that it, 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 it was this quickly. Uh, but I'm also happy that it's, uh, that it's this quickly. Eyewitness News is there with Father Carusi and students as they anxiously wait to hear who the next Pope will be. Uh, and I'm, I'm just, I think I'm, I'm as shocked as everyone else. I don't know the man. <laughs> He's not as popular as maybe some of the other Cardinals. Very interesting though, very interesting. I'll just go to show you that the Holy Spirit guides, guides the church, the Holy Spirit guides the Cardinals. The rest of us have to trust, have to believe that uh, they picked the right man for the job. Students and staff tell me they're excited to learn about the new Pope and see what's next. Reporting in Johnston with the Mobile Newsroom, Mara Kennedy, Eyewitness News.